Back in December of this past year, we had some input from a fellow named Buddy Falzone who took his child up to Heyman Park and he noticed that we needed to have some improvements in the equipment. From that thought, we decided, the Board of Commissioners in Kill Double Hills decided to form the West Side Recreation Group. That group was going to do an inventory of the town's own parks and look at what kind of improvements could be done that we could afford to do and we've been able so far to come up with some pretty good plans to improve these facilities and do some much needed upgrades on the equipment. So the planning department's role in this whole project with the Rust Tide Recreation Group is really getting some of the long-term planning efforts together. Grant funding is obviously something that we're going to be looking forward to when we're talking about improving our parks with big and great features. Us in the planning department will facilitate those grant requests at the direction of the Board of Commissioners. Now something also that they decided for more citizen input would be an online survey. And in doing that, we had over 250 respondents for the two we've done thus far. Uh, another important element of long-term planning is looking at a needs analysis. Having a needs analysis talked about with a group of people from different backgrounds gives you an excellent talking point for what our community really needs for each. Implementing these ideas is going to be a combination of vision and site plan on town staff, but it's also going to be seeking grant funding to make these happen. So it's important when we're planning this to prioritize which of these ideas need to be incorporated in phase implementation. Which one of these is what we need now and what's something we need in 10 years. We know how we need to improve our parks, but we need to lay out the framework to do them in an efficient manner without a tax burden for our citizens. We have a lot of citizens that have gotten involved on the group level and are making fantastic recommendations. They've really got some great ideas. They know what we want to do with our recreation facilities. We use Cameron to figure out what we're going to do from a cost structure on how we want to finance some of this stuff. But then we have Ross also who does a lot of infrastructure improvements in-house. The West Side Recreation Group has helped building and grounds identify some areas that maybe we weren't aware of or that we've gotten used to and, and need to be upgraded. So now we're out there actively trying to upgrade those areas and bring more of the apparatus that people would like to have around their parks. Here at Aviation Park, where we've already started, we've installed new benches around the pond, built some picnic tables. We've started clearing some areas so that make the pond more visible for the visitors that walk around it. We're in the process now of starting to make plans for this winter. We're going to do some block wall around the skate park to make that nicer. We're also going to enlarge the play park area. We're gonna extend the fence out and add another picnic table to it and uh, put some more toys in there for the kids. We're looking at a lot of upgrades for uh, Heyman Park. Uh, Meekins Field, they're putting the new water tower in and when that's finished, we're gonna be revamping uh, Meekins Field. So we have a lot of new ideas that the West Side Recreation Group is coming up with and the citizens are uh, volunteering more information. And uh, so hopefully in the near future, we'll see some improvements there. This is consistent with our land use plan, um, which is what our citizens have said that they want to see. They want to see improvements in our recreation facility. They want to see increased recreation facility. Our facility plan hasn't been updated in quite a while and we need to bring it up to speed with what, what we need now. So uh, hopefully we can get that done too.